to make windows, doors, and billboards. So windows, there are different ways of making windows. If you're going to make a cluster of windows, that means more than one, it's easier to make a big window and then edit them or crop them down to how many windows you want. So say if I wanted to make four windows in here, I would just make a big window first. So windows are just like making a side of your building, right? The top of the windows, it's a horizontal line, so it goes to the vanishing point. So since this is on the right side of my building, it goes to the right vanishing point. I'm also going to line up the bottom of my window to the vanishing point. And then the sides of my windows, just like the sides of the buildings, are vertical. So if I wanted, this could be a big window, or it could be like a big billboard. We can put a picture in it. But I want to make it into four windows. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to divide this into four sections, right? So I'm going to add the vertical line. And I'm going to leave a space in between. And then erase. So now I have two windows. I'm going to divide it this way, so I make it into four. So same thing as the top and the bottom. I line it up to the side of the um, building that it's on. In this case, it's on the right side. So I line up my vanishing point, and I make my diagonal lines to it. In reality, these lines are horizontal lines, right? The top and the bottom of your windows. And then I just erase the line in between. So instead of having one huge window, now I have four. Now to make this window look a little more three-dimensional, we're going to make it look like it's going inside, so you can see what's inside the windows. So to do this, you're going to look at the windows and see where they are in relation to your horizon line. So say if I want to make this window look 3D, right? This window is, there's four corners of the window. So you're going to decide which corner you want to make it so it looks 3D. So how this works is it's kind of like common sense when you look at the window. Where is this window? It's on my right side, right? So I go to the right corner somewhere. So I have a top corner and a right and a bottom corner. Which one do I use? I'm going to use the top because it's higher than my horizon line. So it makes sense if you're standing here, you're looking up and you're going to see the top of the window, not the bottom. If I have a window down here, then you would see the bottom because it's lower than the vanishing point for your horizon line. So I start at the top right corner of that window. I make a short diagonal line going into the window that lines up with the opposite vanishing point, which is on my left. So I make a short diagonal line. From there, my vertical, I'm going to connect that to the bottom of my window, the vertical line. And then this line connected to the side of my window goes to this vanishing point on my right side. All right, just like the window. This is the top, it goes to the same vanishing point. But when you start it, you start with the opposite vanishing point with a short diagonal going into the window. So I'm going to do the same thing here. This window is in the same position. It's at the top right hand corner. So I make a short diagonal that goes in. Line up the top to this vanishing point and I connect that line to the side of my window. And then at this corner I make a vertical line that goes down. All right, so just to show you how different it would look, if I were to have a window down here, I'm going to make a window down here so you can see like, how the angle changes it or where the placement of the window. Say I want to make a huge window on this side of my building. All right, size are vertical. Sometimes stores have big windows so you can look inside, like a display window. So now this window is on the left side of my building, right? So I use the left corners 
it is also lower than my vanishing point so I use the bottom left corner to start and I line it up with the opposite vanishing point I make a short diagonal line that goes into the window right the bottom of my window go to the right the left vanishing point so I connect it to the side and then the sides of my, the, the wall that's inside the window is a vertical line. So you see how this view changes? Instead of doing the top, I did the bottom because this window is lower than my eye level. So when I'm looking in, I'm looking down at it because my eye level is higher. All right, so different types of windows. Buildings in the back, you can just make um, lines to suggest windows do vertical lines, a series of them, like that. Sometimes in buildings um, in the city, they're just like glass. So you can do that. Um, or you can make lines going to the, uh, the vanishing point to make kind of like a, um, a checkerboard kind of pattern. That is also an option, right? If you want to do the same thing on this side, they would go to the same vanishing point just as like the top of your building. So since this is on the left, it goes to the left. All right, don't make the error of making them going to the same because there are two sides and one is going to the left, one going to the right. All right, so this side go over here and this side go over here and the verticals are just straight up and down. Okay, so now let's move on to doors. A door is basically a window, but it's a rectangle. So let me make a door here. It's on the right side of my building. I'm gonna line up the top of my door to the right vanishing point. The bottom is already done. So I'm going to make the sides and those are vertical. And I'll make like a door in the middle here. The two doors open. All right, option to make an open door. What you can do is figure out what side of the building this is on. So this is on my right side. Well, on my left, your right. So I would go to the right corners. And from there, I'm gonna line it up with the opposite vanishing point. I'm gonna make two diagonal lines from that side of the door and it usually will go onto the sidewalk since the door swings open and this is a vertical line and then just to make it less confusing I'm just going to erase the lines behind the door so there's a door that opens out that way All right and you can also include a line that goes inside the building to make it look more 3d to suggest there's space inside so I'm going to line up that corner going to the opposite direction. Just like the line when you start with a window, going to the opposite direction. And that's the diagonal line that goes inside the door. All right, so it looks like you're walking inside the door. All right, so now billboards. Like I mentioned before, you can make a huge window and put a billboard on that. You can draw a picture on that, do the transfer technique and put a picture in there of an ad or anything like that. Um, or you can do a floating billboard. So a floating billboard on top of a building is basically making a window with legs. So if I were to make one here on the right side of my building, I'm gonna line it up the top to the right, the bottom to the right. And then you gotta make sure, don't make the misconception of connecting these lines because your sides need to be vertical just like the sides of the building. So most of the time you either have to add a line or erase a line. So I'm gonna make mine like end there. See how that, that works out? And then I just have to erase the extra. And then I'm just gonna draw double up par um, parallel vertical lines attached to the building. Right, so that would be like a floating standing billboard. That's also an option. You can also use billboards and have pictures, you know, on your road as well. 
Billboards is the way for people to advertise what they want the public to see and what they want them to know or to buy. So um, most of the time in the city, you have like billboards like on cars, you know, on buses, sometimes on like those water towers. Um, so anywhere they can put an image, an ad, um, people do it. All right, so options are standing billboard or you can just draw a box to make a billboard. So say if I were to make like a huge box here. And then when you write, you have the letters on your billboard, they also have to go to the vanishing point. So parts of the letters, that anything that's a horizontal line in your letters, go to the vanishing point. All right, so if I write hi, right? So my H's would be vertical, right? This is a horizontal line in my H. I line it up to the vanishing point. And then same thing with the I. That's a vertical. And then the top and the bottom also go to the vanishing point. So a lot of times I'd like to make a line um, inside my billboard if I'm writing something. So I just make sure that it's straight and it corresponds to the vanishing point. Maybe I'll make like an exclamation mark right here. Right, so that's what you would do if you were to write on the billboard, have any kind of writings on the billboard.